Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is a video that I am super excited about because today I'm gonna to be showing you how to code your own chat GPT for free without any prior knowledge of AI or machine learning. So without further waste of time, let's just dive into it. Um, so when you think about chat GPT, what it does exactly is it pretty much has like a front end where you can see the chat messages and then it has an AI model at the back end where your messages go to. It has some interactivity on the front end where if you click a button and make sure to send that over to through an API to the AI model, it gets a response and sends it back. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And this is why I love the internet because someone has made a chat GPT user interface Figma file. Uh, we can just get it as a screenshot and then use screenshot to code to make the UI. Awesome, all we have to do now is to add the screenshot of ChatGPT. And then what screenshot to code is currently doing is it's analyzing the um, screenshot using ChatGPT vision and it's producing the front end code for it, um, which is super amazing because this would take like a front end developer um, probably a week to get this UI up and running. Uh, if it's a good front end developer, a couple of days, but you can do it in a few seconds as you've, you've seen. And the great thing about this is you can also nudge it to change a few things around the UI. For instance, I noticed it didn't add the input box here. So add the input box. And now it, it has added the input box, but it didn't add the send button. So we needed to add the send button. So just told it to add a send button in the input box. Update. Great, now we have the send button. An amazing thing about this is it's also responsive. So if you go to the mobile view, uh, it, it doesn't look super responsive here, but with Tailwind CSS, you can tweak a little things to make it responsive. But this is like pretty responsive because it's, you know, usable. And if we go over to the code, you can see we have the code here. I'm just going to copy it, paste it in my VS code, and we should be good to go. Surprisingly very short. All thanks to <coughs> Tailwind CSS. So if I open it in the browser, this is how it looks. Switch. It's pretty similar to how the original screenshot looked. I'm, I'm fine with this. A few things I noticed, like this um, disclaimer, it should be at the bottom and not at the top. Let's fix that real quick. Um, refresh. Nice. Disclaimer is not at the bottom. So now that we have a front end of the page, let, let's add some interactivity. Um, for interactivity, we're mostly concerned about three things. We're concerned about the chat bubble, or however OpenAI likes to call it. And then we're concerned about the input box. We're also concerned about the uh, send button. So whenever I enter something in the input box, I want to be able to capture that. And then if I click the send button, send that over to the API where the AI model is hosted, and then the response would be displayed here. And that's it, exactly what we're going to do. So we go over to the code and then make sure that we add um, IDs and class names for these uh, identifiers. For these, uh, for these. So I think the entirety of everything from here onto the regenerate response, this is a chat message. So I'm just going to say class chat message. Make sure there are no other classes like that. That's good. What is a chat bot? This would be user prompt. And then the response, this would be um, AI response. And then over here at the bottom, we have the input box. Let's find it. It can only be one input. Let's say message input. And then this is a send button. So let's just call it send button. Now that we have identifiers for all of the 
um, all the elements that we need. I'm just going to copy everything, go over to ChatGPT on a new chat, and then ask it to create interactivity for these three elements. And then we have a prompt here that we're going to ask ChatGPT to create an interactivity. So I'm going to put the prompt for this in the code, and all of the code will be available on GitHub. Check it out. Simply what the prompt does is it tells ChatGPT to act as a world-class JavaScript developer, and then just using plain JavaScript, uh, whenever the user clicks on the, the send button, get the content of the input box, create a chat message, and then add the chat message to chat history. It makes a post request to the model API to get the model uh, response. And then once it gets the model response, it, um, it replaces um, the AI response in the chat message with the model response. And if there is no response from the model, if there's an error, it just says, oh, hey, there was an error. And then we're going to provide it with the front end code and the model API format. Um, we have not provided it with the model API format yet. Let's go over to LangDrive and then see what the model API format is. So LangDrive is an amazing open source um, AI library that allows you to train um, open source LLMs and then also host them and call them uh, via a simple API endpoint. So it's very simple to call a model. Uh, if you scroll over to LangDrive Playground, you can see like the different kinds of um, AI models that are supported. And then there's, there should also be a model supported called Mistral 7B. Um, that's what we're going to use. I, I found like Mistral 7B is a little better than Falcon 7B. And then this is the API reference. This is the URL where you call the AI model to get the response from, uh, let's say, chat completions. So we just copy this, right? over to here for model format, we say endpoint would be this, and then request body. This is what you have to put in the request. And then the response back that you get from the model, this is what the model sends back. Well, it's what the API sends. And now all we have to do is augment this code with the HTML for the front end, and then we send it over to ChatGPT, and it should give us a JavaScript with interactivity. Great. So ChatGPT returned the code that we need for this. I think this should be like the complete code. And it's interesting how it gave every message a unique identifier based on the time the message was sent. Uh, I think I put that in the code, but I didn't tell it like what to do. I just said create a unique ID. Um, I'm just going to copy this, go over to the code, create a new chatbot.js, add this there, remove this, remove this, format document, copy this, script tag. I think you want to do it at the end, that way all of the elements would be completely loaded before the script is, is loaded. So if everything is all well and done, we should be able to get some interactivity here. Refresh this page. Great. It says, hello, thinking. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's not going to return a response, I don't think so, because we didn't select like the actual um, actual model for LangDrive. Um, so Hugging Face is this, it's a community of AI models. And one of the models I love in Hugging Face is Mist Mistral 7B Instruct. It just so happens that this is the, the model that is also supported by LangDrive. So if we go over to the code, um, for the fetch request, the model name here, this would be the model name that we want LangDrive to use. So this would be Mistral 7B Instruct. And then the maximum tokens, like, we, I, I don't want to do 50 maximum tokens. So LangDrive automatically adjusts the max tokens in, in the uh, on the server, so this is not required. 
And then if you simply run this again, say, hello, how are you? Send it over. We do have to do some debugging. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. So I tried going to this, uh, I tried hitting this endpoint, uh, lang drive, API, the lang drive, AI, slash v1, slash chat, slash completions. Turns out that it is not slash chat, slash completions, and I have just fixed it. Uh, it is slash completions. It's not a chat completion. It's just a simple like QA completion. I do know this because I am one of the contributors to the open source project Lang Drive, and I have just fixed this. So if we go over to the code and then do slash completions instead of slash chat completions, we should be able to get meaningful results. All right, now it depends it. Now we just have to make sure that the text input is at the bottom of the page. So if we do justify content space between, yes. And then, hello, how are you? All right, nice. So, so instead of asking it, hello, how are you? Let's try something that's more, something, something that's more interesting. So for instance, write an email to schedule a meeting. Great, we have it. And then let's say, where should I go for lunch? If I am in the United States of America. Oh, cool. It tells you about Burger King, uh, McDonald's, quite a bit. Let's do something around tell me a joke. Oh, I said something went wrong. Sorry, something went wrong. Please try again. So the, the error state is being cut. It's the um, expected behavior. Uh, so that's good. So tell me a joke about a chicken. Uh, what name is given at birth to the to the most chickens? Pecky. <laughs> that's, that's, that's quite funny. All right. So that is how you can create your own chat GPT for free without any prior experience with AI or machine learning uh, using the tools Screenshot to Code, um, very amazing tool, a Lang Drive, which allows you to host and train open source LLMs and then call them with just a single API. Um, full disclosure, Lang Drive is a project that I'm a contributor to. Um, we really want to make it easy for any developer to go from having zero knowledge about LLMs to building their first LLM application in under five minutes. And as you can see, setting up the Lang Drive API to call uh, Mistral 7B was actually very simple. I think it was the most simple part of this implementation that I did today. So check out Lang Drive. All of the code for what we've done today for the ChatGPT that we made will be in this repository um, at EAI slash I'm going to put the link in the description. Uh, check it out. The code is under the folder directory uh, demos slash Lang Drive chat GPT demo. You have the chat.js. That's the JavaScript that we created using chat GPT. And then this is the index uh, HTML using screenshot to code. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hope you have fun with this. Really uh, extend it. Do whatever you want to do with it. And see you in the next one. Bye.